turtleneck sweaters, short skirts, long hair, demonstrations. The 60s. What an era. While society bids farewell to traditions, we develop a classic. The Porsche 911. A car with race-proven engineering and comfort conceived for everyday driving pleasure. Its success formula? Ongoing further refinement. Although it was a fascinating car from the very start, the first 911 becomes a legend because it marks the beginning of the 911 evolution. The 70s arrive on the scene. The flower children are still there, but waning slowly. Porsche, on the other hand, is still growing strong. Freedom of thought and personal expression continue unabated. Among the engineers and the customers. Not with flower power, but engine power. The 911 finishes out front on all the classic tracks and lends racing a special flair. The next decade, however, does have its problems with the flair of the 70s. The 80s. Disaffection with politics is the order of the day. Neon, the camouflage color of an undecided society. Graffiti announce no future. But once again, Porsche goes against the tenor of the times and contradicts that no future verdict. Because in the 80s, Porsche introduces more innovations than ever before. Multiplicity instead of singularity. The 90s are the era of mass consumption. The world economy is in a crisis. What counts from here on out is selling at any price. Everything has to be quickly consumable, new and fun. Porsche has a different idea of what's fun and of the technologies that make it possible. They must be uncompromising. In performance, but also safety. For pure driving fun. The 911. No other sports car has a more illustrious history. It's a sports car for every day, but it's no everyday sports car. It's sporty, but comfortable, too. A strong character which, despite all its contrasting facets, has never stooped to compromise. Quite the contrary. A series production hero that turns in better performance all the time. And somehow becomes more and more itself the older it gets.